good are you with distances? Can you picture a kilometer? Hmm, sure. 10 kilometers? Okay. What about 149 million kilometers? That's the average distance from the Earth to the Sun. We call this one astronomical unit, or AU. Astronomical units are used for distances you'll find in a planetary system, like our solar system. This is because, well, we're really good at understanding the numbers 1 through 10. Mars is about 1.5 AU from the Sun. Jupiter is a little more than 5 AU. Saturn, 9.5 AU. Neptune, 30 AU. We're starting to reach the limit of what we can picture here. Once we leave our cozy little planetary system, it gets much worse. We have to start thinking about long distance relationships. Really long. For astronomical distances, we often measure them in terms of light years, which is the distance traveled by light during one year at the speed of about 300,000 kilometers per second. This corresponds to a distance of 9.46 times 10 to the 12 kilometers. That exponent of 12? That's a trillion. In one year, light travels almost 10 trillion kilometers. We really do need to use numbers that big to talk about space. For instance, the next closest star to us is Proxima Centauri, which is about 4.3 light years away. The Orion Nebula is about 1,500 light years from Earth, and about 30 light years across. You can see that using light years makes dealing with these enormous numbers more manageable. But there's another measure of distance that astronomers love even more, the parsec. Numerically speaking, a parsec is equal to 3.26 light years. That seems arbitrary. Where does this measure come from? Where does it get that name? First, the name parsec is a combination of the words parallax and second. One parsec is one parallax arc second. To understand what that means, we need to talk about parallax and seconds. You know what the parallax effect is. We all did this when we were little kids and we were figuring out how our bodies worked. If you hold out a finger at arm's length and look at it with just one eye, then the other, mm, mm, you see your finger jumping back and forth compared to anything in the distant background. This is because our eyes are separated by a few inches and they are looking at your finger from different angles. The closer your finger is to your eyes, the bigger the apparent jump. We can calculate how far our finger is from our eyes by doing a little trigonometry. We can observe the parallax effect on an astronomical scale as well. If you observe a star from Earth at one time of the year, and then again six months later, the star appears to have jumped. It's like we use two eyes, separated by two AU. Parallax is what we call the angle variation between these two positions. Now, where do seconds come in? We're not talking time, we're talking parts of a circle. Imagine the sky is an enormous circle. There are 360 degrees in a circle, and each degree can be divided into 60 minutes of arc. Each one of those minutes of arc can be divided into 60 seconds. That means there are 1,296,000 arc seconds in a circle. Now let's put those two ideas together. A parsec is the distance to a star that shifts by one arc second when we measure it from one side of Earth's orbit versus the other side. Actually, there aren't any stars that are that close to us. Our closest neighbor is Proxima Centauri, which we said earlier was 4.3 light years away, or about 1.3 parsecs. Its parallax is about 0.77 arc seconds. The general equation here is d equals 1 over p, where d is the distance to the star in parsecs, and p is the parallax, measured in arc seconds. Put another way, if you see a star with one arc second of parallax, it's one parsec away. If it has one half arc second of parallax, it's two parsecs away. One third arc second, it's three parsecs away. You get the idea. Just like our finger, the closer a star is to us, the bigger the jump. That should tell you that only the closest stars can be measured accurately this way. There's a limit to what we can measure. From the ground, that limit is about 0.01 arc seconds. 
We can get smaller measurements via satellite where there isn't the distortion from our Earth's atmosphere, about 0.002 arc seconds. Stellar clusters have sizes on the order of 10 to 50 parsecs. Galactic disks have a diameter of 30 to 40 kiloparsecs. A kiloparsec is a thousand parsecs. You'll even hear the terms megaparsecs and gigaparsecs. Now, I know you're wondering, what was so special about 12 parsecs? Remind me to tell you about the Kessel Run sometime. Socratica friends, if you want to hashtag learn more astronomy, be sure to visit our website, socratica.com. We have some special follow-up lessons you can only find there.